far as what to listen, what to listen for in, a, uh, in an amplifier, or what what do I use, you know do? Um, you know, first of all, well, what kind of music do you want to use? Uh, you know, to try and evaluate the amplifier. Uh, well, I guess um, I prefer to use music that's um, challenging to reproduce yet not electronic uh, in nature. I mean, it's okay to use electronic music for gee whiz, well, this is impressive or whatever, uh, but if you want to try and get a sense of, you know, is the amplifier, you know, accurate or whatever, I mean, it's, it's probably best to start with uh, music that's recorded from acoustic instruments, real instruments. Um, you know what they sound like, or you know, if you do go to live music concerts, you know what, you know, you, you pretty much know what a violin or cello, or whatever, sounds like. Um, and if you have undoctored recordings, which I prefer to use, uh, and you know, key in on instruments that you know, you know, really what they're supposed to sound like. Uh, piano is an excellent instrument. It's so percussive. It's got a wide frequency response. Um, it can, you know, play havoc with amplifiers and speakers and anything else uh, if it's not done well. Uh, so, uh, and there are a whole lot of piano recordings. I mean, it, it's just string quartets. I mean, all these things are, uh, you know, full orchestras are a little more challenging because there's so much going on. Um, Certainly, if you want to do a test of dynamics, there's you know, you know, nothing's going to beat a, a Mahler symphony. But uh, uh, you know, it, it, it's uh, you know, but those are you know, kind of the the source uh, music that I you know prefer to use if I'm you know really trying to key in on you know discerning you know is there a problem or not and. And as I mentioned earlier, or mentioned another point in time, is uh, uh, Shostakovich's string quartet. This, the Shostakovich was good, and not only was it a string quartet, and you have these uh, these four instruments to concentrate on, but Shostakovich, uh, it's it's a very dissonant uh, music, and so you're not relying on on melody. Per se, to kind of carry the day and distract you from, you know, really trying to, you know, what do the instruments sound like? If you if you're listening to something that is very dissonant, uh, rather than, you know, than um, melodic, uh, you you have to concentrate on the beauty of those instruments. Whereas if it's melody, it just da 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 da. You know, it's uh, it's it's just yeah, it's a fun listening experience just to listen to something melodic. But you know, Shostakovich and the like. I mean, you have to concentrate. Well, you'll probably want to concentrate, or you're not want to listen. You're not going to want to listen to it in the first place. So, <laughs> and I know a lot of people don't care much for that kind of music, but it's an excellent excellent test vehicle. Um, opera. Uh, the, uh, un uh, of course, in a uh, opera setting, in a, at the Met, whatever, uh, wherever you might go to lis listen to live opera, um, the uh, opera singers don't, they don't use amplification. Their voice can carry to 5,000 people and, uh, and do so without amplification. It's amazing. Of course, that's part of, a large, large part of that is you know, well-designed concert hall, but uh, and also a large part is the training of, of a good opera singer. I mean, and they're they're stressing their vocal cords. There's no question about it. But uh, I find that uh, opera as being a good test vehicle as well for evaluating. Um, everybody knows what the human voice sounds like, and. Uh, um, it's it, the human voice is, is terrific uh, for evaluating, uh, um, as long as it's not doctored in funny ways. Um, 
you know, the, a lot of the pop recordings are, 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 are doctored uh, quite a bit in frequency response and, and other things to make them sound, often to, to make them sound better on a cheap audio system than rather, you know, sound natural on a good audio system. So, uh, you know, so a lot of those I kind of stay away from, uh, you know, for doing serious evaluation. If you're trying to make an amplifier better or more neutral, or and and I that's what I do like to, to always I've always liked to stress that you know neutrality is good because it uh, it'll work with different with different variety of music better. There are amplifiers that do sound fabulous. I know of some transformer coupled amps. I won't name any names. They sound fabulous on, for example, a choir in a church with echo, you know, when the, you know, you have a choir that's performing in a, in a large church with, you know, with the uh, reverberation in the church. Uh, I know of some transformer couple lamps that sound stunning with, with that kind of music. Um, and you say, oh yeah, well, it's non-amplified. It, yeah, that should meet the criteria of, of, of uh, you know, what I'm looking for when I listen, and yeah, it it does. It's a, it it's a it's a test vehicle that does meet that criteria. But if you build an amplifier and and tweak it and, and make it sound as good as it can sound with that kind of music, then it's probably not going to work very well with jazz or something else that requires transparency um, and probably not too well on the string quartet either. Uh, so, and that's what I found. These, some amplifiers that I'm not going to name that do sound excellent with, you know, that big church choir, nah, they don't do a very good job on you know, for general purpose, all around music. Um, so uh, I want, you know, when I build an amplifier, design an amplifier and voice it, whatever, I want it to, you know, do well on a variety of music. And so, yeah, it's got to do good on the church choir, but uh, maybe not as good as an amplifier that's tweaked to sound really good on that, but it'll, it'll do much better all around with, uh, you know, with all your other, uh, you know, with a variety of music that, uh, you know, different, um, you know, listeners are going to want to put through the amplifier. I mean, you, you know, not everybody wants to listen to church choirs all the time. So. <laughs>